Hey, how you going? Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can use copper foil tape in your paper circuits. So what is a paper circuit? Well, nowadays education is all about STEM technology to bring, uh, to bring technology into the classroom in a fun and innovative way, all about creating things using uh, the environment around you. So paper circuits refer to uh, creating a circuit on paper, funnily enough, uh, without a traditional printed circuit board. So materials such as copper foil tape, which allow you to create uh, traces as you would have on a st uh, standard traditional PCB, are incredibly valuable because copper is a really great conductor. So we have this, uh, this really awesome tool in copper tape. Now, there's two different types of copper tape that we carry, apart from uh, physical, physically different sizes. You've got the copper tape that has non-conductive adhesive, so it's uh, adhesive on one side, and uh, on the lower cost tape, that adhesive is non-conductive, which means that it won't conduct on one side, only the non-adhesive side, obviously. Now, this is great for a lot of use cases, and in, in some situations, this might even be better because you might want one side not to be conductive. But most of the time, working with conductive adhesive tape like I've got here is a lot better as it allows you to create connections on both the top and the bottom sides. So I've got here, I've got the uh, the five millimeter copper tape from SparkFun, fantastic products, one of our maker favorites. And I just wanted to go through, I've been getting a bit hands on with it and run through some tips and tricks, methods that I found really useful to create a circuit with some copper foil tape. I've got a couple of simple components here uh, that you wouldn't normally find on perhaps a, you know, a paper circuit, but we're gonna look at how you can really easily integrate even you know, traditional through-hole components into your paper circuits. So you've got platforms like uh, Chibitronics, Makey Makey Circuit Scribe, they're all platforms uh, and brands which use copper foil tape or can use copper foil tape really extensively in projects for them. In fact, Chibitronics is all about stickered uh, components. So an LED that's in the form of a sticker with some conductive pads and it's, it's all about uh, you know, using copper foil tape, but in others, it's just a really handy addition. So first up, I wanna talk a bit about using uh, conductive adhesive and non-conductive adhesive tapes together. Because as I mentioned, the non-conductive adhesive type is a little bit cheaper, so it's always good to have a roll on hand, but you don't always need to use conductive adhesive uh, you know, for everything because, I'll go ahead here and quick tip, uh, the copper foil tape, because it's copper, it's very springy, it can easily unravel from the uh, from the coil, which is a little tricky. So every time you finish using it, just unpeel a little bit and stick it onto itself, and that way, save you some save you hassles. So I'll just use the one type here to demonstrate, but it, yeah, it is designed to use uh, non-conductive adhesive tape uh, in your circuit as well. So you can grab a strip, I'm just gonna grab some scissors, one moment, and I'm back. Cool, cool. So, I'm take the scissors, and cut off a little section of the tape. Now, we'll peel that on, stick it onto our paper here. So ordinarily, and now this is our conductive adhesive tape, but I'm gonna use it as well like it isn't. So we stick that down. Now, if you use non-conductive um, adhesive tape, if you try and stick it on top of there, it won't conduct because the bottom side, the adhesive side, isn't conductive. But if we use that bottom, um, the bottom layer, uh, as our non-conductive adhesive tape, then that top side's still gonna be some uh, conductive. So you grab some of your adhesive conductive tape, whack that on top, and you're taking advantage of uh, the fact that both sides don't necessarily have to be conductive to make a great circuit. It can be a little tricky to peel off sometimes. There we go. So you can whack that one on there, and if that was non-conductive adhesive tape, no worries. Our uh, conductive adhesive tape is going to do the rest of the job. And peel that off and saved yourself. Uh, saved the conductive adhesive tape for when you actually need to use it, and the uh, the non-conductive works just as well in this situation, which is really cool. So another really handy thing about the copper foil tape is that it's really easy to solder to, especially the thin stuff. Now, when I was testing it out, I thought there might have been a few issues with the uh, the body of the tape uh, wicking away the heat, making it hard to get a nice, a nice smooth solder joint. But it wasn't the case because the tape itself is so thin. It does. It is quite nice to solder to. You get a really nice pillow of solder on there. Uh, so if you do need to, I mean, it defeats the point of a paper circuit a little bit, but you might have an external circuit that you wanted to hook up to this. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to solder to. So I've got my uh, my soldering iron here. Grab that guy, 
Now, if you're not sure how to solder, check out our how to solder uh, tutorials, which runs you through it. So for now, I'm just gonna get a little bit of solder. You gonna see that? Yeah, all right. A little bit of solder to the tip and just tin this wire to make it nice and easy to get uh, good adhesion. I'm doing this a little one-handed. So it's a little tricky, but all right, we've got our, uh, our copper foil tape here. Now I'm gonna take a bit of the adhesive off to make it a bit easier to hold in place while I solder to this. Normally I would uh, use, actually, I'm gonna use this helping hand here. This is uh, a Hobby Creek, Hobby Creek helping hand, and it is absolutely awesome. All right, we've got that in the frame there. Just gonna grab a bit there. Now I'm actually going to uh, to just put a bit of a, a pillow of solder onto, onto the tape here, just to make sure I've got that and it's gonna uh, it's gonna really take that bit nicely. And take our our pre-tinned wire and uh, just make sure like it's a nice smooth smooth flow there. And you can see I've got a really nice solder joint. So it's not uh, it's not mechanically strong solder isn't designed to form a mechanical uh, connection, but you can see that has just taken really really well, and it's not gonna come off very easily. At all, I just tore the tape before the solder joint gave away. Really, really good stuff. So that is uh, that's soldering to uh, copper tape. So next up is using components with copper tape. And as I mentioned, you can get some Chibitronics uh, packs which have stickers. So all of the components are uh, you know uh, are in the sticker form. So it's really easy to get started with paper circuits that way. But for your you know your standard through hole components like an LED or a resistor, it can be a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to go over some tips on how you can secure those. So you can, of course, uh, just tape it, especially with, um, you're going to want uh, conductive adhesive tape. You can just tape it straight to the paper, like, oh, I'll try and get my hands out of the way, like that. Uh, I'll say pressing it down for now, and that's going to form a, uh, a very good connection, or if you've already got your traces here, then you can simply, I like to cut off a small little rectangle of the tape, put my lead there, spin this around and then I can uh, get the LED stick this tape over the top and because it is conduct has conductive adhesive it's going to conduct on the uh, the adhesive side as well also holds your LED up nicely really really cool so on the other side I'll just tape it straight down to the uh, to the paper can you see that yeah there we go um, I'll tape that down there and I'll go ahead and just show you a quick little circuit and we'll wait to connect a battery up and turn it on. I'm gonna get into our into using it in batteries in just a moment. So go ahead and feel free to follow this at home. It's a really good um, starter circuit if you wanna get into uh, using you know traditional components with, uh, with copper foil tape. Uh, the hardest part is separating it from the paper. There we go. So again, I've already put that trace down so I'm just gonna grab a little uh, little square there, tape it down on top of my existing trace. It's gone down quite nicely. And trace over that one. That's going to allow me to put a, uh, a coin cell battery in there to connect up our circuit. Make sure they're all pushed down nicely. Cool. And that is using standard components, uh, through hole components with, uh, with conductive tape, with paper circuits. It's very cool. So, of course, we're going to want a switch to turn our circuit on. We don't necessarily want it to be on the whole time. So there's a few different ways you can make a switch, and we're going to go over both of them. So from here, I'll draw some traces out, or make some traces out, I should say. Nice big long trace over to here. So bear in mind that because copper foil tape is quite thin, especially if you're using this um, you know, uh, smaller width stuff, you're going to want to be careful of how long you're making your traces uh, because it can start introducing some, you know, some significant uh, resistance to your circuit. We're not talking, you know, kilograms at all, but it still can be, you know, can affect, can affect your circuit. So go ahead and cut that off. Cool. So if you want to make a foldable switch, you could of course uh, put your put your tape near the corner of your paper and simply fold the corner over, and that's going to uh, to uh, make a circuit across those two connectors. And bang, you've got a foldable switch, which is okay. You do crease your paper a little bit. It's good for your you know gift cards or things like that. 
But I do prefer, I think it's a little bit uh, of a cleaner solution to just create a switch, a little springy momentary switch using another little snippet of tape. I'm gonna fold that over on itself so that it can stick to that trace. So remember one side of it's sticky. And now we have a little momentary switch which we can tap on. Like that, just really cool. You could of course just create a bit more of a, I guess you'd call it a latching switch and put the sticky side down. On, hold, off, tear it back up again. Pretty cool, although bear in mind, once this stuff gets a good grip on the paper, uh, it won't let go, you will tear your paper because it is quite sticky, which is a good thing. So now we've got our circuit uh, laid out a bit. Now let's look at putting a battery in. Now I'm going to just take up this tape a little bit so I can introduce a switch in series into here. So I'll keep that, uh, that open for the moment. And I'm going to look at uh, using a coin cell battery. Coin cell batteries are awesome in paper circuits. They're thin, uh, they're small, they're reasonably safe, they're fantastic. Um, but of course, you know, we need to get, uh, you've got a positive side and a negative side, so we need to get those sides onto our circuit. So you can see I've left a bit of width uh, in between the traces here. If the traces were too small, I might just short it out and connect the negative side to both traces. Um, and if the positive side's connected as well, you're gonna have some issues with your circuit. It's never good to, uh, to short the power supply. So what I'm gonna do, again, another small section of tape. Cut that guy off, and I'm going to use the old double-sided trick, so fold it in on itself. Put that at the, uh, the end of the circuit, just there, and then I can stick, make sure I've got that connected up to the battery in the right way. Yes, that's the positive side, so I'm going to want to stick it over to that side, making sure I've got a bit of an air gap or a paper gap, as it were, between those two sides. Get another piece of foil or copper tape, I should say, and I'm going to stick it on to the negative side. And you can see the LED has a little flat side a flat edge on one side, which is over on this side here. And I hope you can see that. So nothing's happening because I've got that open circuit. And then when I connect it down, you can see that still nothing's happening. So here, it's worth going through and checking all of your connections. So you can see it's still not turning on. So what is the issue? Have I connected something up the wrong way? What's going on? So this is where it's important to be able to troubleshoot your paper circuit. So we'll begin. It's a good process to be able to learn. So we'll take the battery. Oh, so I can see there's some intermittent flashing when I uh, when I push that one down. So it's likely there's just a bad connection somewhere along here. So when I press on press on that, and so the good bit about um, you know this foil tape is you can press on different parts of the circuit and see if that's what will make it work and try and find um, a bit of a fault somewhere. Yep, so my, my battery is connected up the correct way. So that's not the issue. So when I press on uh, when I press on the the LED leg there and the resistor, it looks like that's what's yeah that leg of the LED isn't very well connected. So I'm going to take that one up and bring it up above the foil tape. And instead of taping it straight straight onto the uh, the paper, I'm going to tape it onto use that uh, that double tape method I was talking about. So cut off another little rectangle here. Another little bit of copper foil tape and I'm gonna put it over the top which is a much more reliable connection for our LED. So we can see that it's still not turning on. So there must be another issue somewhere. Um, nice. So there must be another issue somewhere. So we keep going, we can see, oh, that resistor, again, that's the one I taped straight to the paper. So it is an easy way of connecting up components, but as you can see, when you start testing out your circuit, it can introduce some issues. Whereas if it's sandwiched between uh, two sides of you know, conductive adhesive tape, you're gonna have a pretty, pretty solid and reliable connection. So take another little bit of tape. And so I did mention the sticking directly to paper. In case you do have um, you know, conductive adhesive tape and you want something that's gonna be quick and easy to get started, you can see now I've switched, um, I've switched those out, press them back down again. I've got, a, uh, I've got my LED on, I've got a nice reliable circuit when I uh, pull the, this little bit of tape up I'm using as a switch. It will break the circuit and go out, on, on, off, on, off. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So that's some of the big 
tips that I found really handy when getting started uh, with copper foil tape on circuits. So you can see some troubleshooting tips there, how to actually make the circuit. And something else I'll mention um, as well is you can see on the tutorial, I've listed a few different wearable products. So um, coin cell battery holders, uh, some LEDs, a uh, little button board that are actually designed for sellable projects, wearable projects. But the reason I list them is they've actually got, uh, you can see, see on the uh, pictures there, they've got nice big round pads, which is ideal for sewing, but they're also ideal for sticking because they're designed to be quite flat. You can easily implement them in a paper circuit uh, you know, set up and just put your tape on those, those nice pads there. You've got some LEDs, a button board, which is uh, pretty cool. So that's a, that rounds up uh, using copper, copper tape in your paper circuits. If there's anything that you've, you know, this idea you've had on this paper circuit you can make and we haven't covered off on something you're a bit curious about how you would do that, then let us know. Get the conversation started in the comments below um, and happy making, guys.